You did it, Sergeant. That was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. Thank you, sir. Looks like we've got a whole new problem. Not all of those guards you killed were Seps. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. If my squad mates are here, I'll bring them home. Good luck, Sergeant. doing? Sergeant, I thought my orders were very clear. You aren't supposed to be here. I will take him. No, Wraith. The sergeant deserves to know the truth. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I harbor no ill will toward you. You're everything a warrior should be. I'm afraid the Republic no longer values her warriors, even the very best among them. You fought the Empire for years. Do you really think things are better over there? The Empire respects warriors, Sergeant. The Republic's top officials, on the other hand, have decided to cast us aside. The truth is that no matter what they may say, the Republic Senate doesn't actually believe it can win another war against the Empire. That makes you and I a threat. Every Havoc Squad victory fires up people's imaginations. It fills them with pride. Which means the bureaucrats can't afford to let us keep succeeding. We can win, Tavis. We have to win. 
The Imperials must be defeated. If only you'd been with us longer, Sergeant. You would understand. You might even have come with us. The Republic abandoned us. During a mission on Ando Prime, they simply left us to die. But I won't try to persuade you. Honestly, I hope you die with your ideals intact. The rest of us will never have that luxury. It's not too late, Tavis. You can still turn back. Turn back to what? The Republic that wants me dead and gone? No, Sergeant, I think not. Oh, uh, by the way, good work finding the ZR-57 for us. We were starting to worry that the Separatists might, you know, waste our big present for the Empire. But thanks to you, we can now present the Empire with this magnificent tool of destruction. The Imperials won't be very impressed once they realize the bomb is neutralized. A clever bluff, Sergeant, but it won't help you. We'd better get a move on, boss. If we don't break Atmo in the next few minutes, every gun in the sky will have a clear shot on us. Time we were off. Colonel Vor, please give the sergeant the warrior's death he deserves. Go ahead and run. Someone's gonna catch you eventually. It's been an honor serving with you, sergeant. Goodbye. With all due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in infantry command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to swing, and the powers that be say it's you. What's going on here? Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. I'm General Vander, Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Lieutenant. Congratulations. I'm honored. Now, Lieutenant, as the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. I'd be glad to have you in the unit, Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis' face before we kill him. This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. You're a good man. We need good people now more than ever. I don't know what Tavis is planning. But he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. Have we been able to get a fix on where the traitors are heading? Unfortunately, no. They slipped off-world before we could mobilize to track them. You'll have to hunt them down, Lieutenant. I hope you're prepared. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shovel prepped and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. Understood, sir. You'd better get to your shovel. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. <laughs>